Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack, Long Range Strategic Bomber, Russia. The Tu-160, Western reporting name Blackjack, is the world's largest operational bomber. It is nicknamed the White Swan by the pilots. Dwarfing the similar-looking B-1B Lancer, it is the heaviest combat aircraft ever built. Unlike the B-1B, the Tu-160 bomber remains committed to both low-level penetration at transonic speeds and high-level penetration at speeds of about Mach 1.9. Although the aircraft had a fly-by-wire control system all cockpit displays were conventional analog instruments, with no multifunction or head-up displays. The long-pointed radome houses a terrain following and attack radar. Below this was a fairing for a forward-looking TV camera used for visual weapon aiming. The development program of the Tupolev Tu-160 was extremely protracted. The prototype first flew in 1981 and the second aircraft was lost in 1987. First aircraft became operational in 1987. Series production was at Kazan and continued until 1992, when President Yeltsin announced that no further strategic bombers would be built. Production totaled 35 blackjacks, including two prototypes. Also there were some incomplete airframes. This bomber was extremely expensive to build and to maintain. The Tu-160 has a range of 12,300 kilometers. It was the second Soviet bomber after the Tu-95, Western reporting name Bear, that could reach the United States without in-flight refueling. However the Tu-160 could never replace the aging Tu-95 due to its astonishing price. This bomber is powered by 4 NK-32 afterburning turbofan engines. Each engine produces 245 knots of thrust in afterburner. So far the NK-32 is the largest and most powerful engine ever fitted on a combat aircraft. In 1989 the Tu-160 reached a speed of 2,200 km per hour for the first time. However later maximum speed was limited to 2,000 km per hour in order to extend service lives of the engines and airframes. The Blackjack set a total of 44 world records. Even after the aircraft entered service, problems continued to severely restrict operations and production began before a common standard and configuration was agreed. Thus wingspans, equipment fit, and intake configurations differ from aircraft to aircraft. The Blackjack is armed with KH-55, Western designation is 15 Kent, cruise missiles and KH-15, Western designation AS-16 kickback, air-to-surface missiles. The aircraft can carry a total of 12 KH-55 and up to 24 KH-15. Both of these missiles can carry nuclear warheads. Missiles are carried in two internal weapon bays. The Tu-160 can also carry freefall bombs with a maximum weight of up to 40 tons. These bombers are intended to attack the most important enemy targets. It is claimed that the Tu-160 has reduced radar cross-section, however it is by no means a stealthy aircraft. A total of 19 Tu-160s were delivered to the 184th Guards Heavy Bomber Aviation Regiment at Priluki, Ukraine, beginning in May 1987. These were left at the Ukrainian base after the breakup of the USSR in 1991 and, after protracted discussions between Ukraine and the Russian Federation, eight were returned to Russia in 1999. Scrapping of the remaining Tu-160s held in Ukraine began in 1998 under a contract issued by the US government. In 2001, six Russian Tupolev Tu-160s were declared operational as air-launched cruise missile carriers under the START Treaty. These were assigned to the 121st Guards Heavy Bomber Aviation Regiment at Engels and were joined in 2001 by the first of the eight refurbished aircraft formerly held in Ukraine. The Engels Air Force Base is Russia's sole operating location for the Tu-160 strategic bombers. By 2007 a total of 14 Tu-160s were stationed at Engels, however it is unknown how many of these bombers were actually combat-ready. Perhaps up to a dozen further airframes were nominally serviceable but Russia had no funds to rework these aircraft. By 2017 a total of 16 bombers were operational with the Russian Air Force, plus one more was upgraded to the Tu-160M standard. In 2018 a contract was signed to produce a total of 10 Tu-160M2 newly built bombers. The first newly built bomber made its first flight in 2022. In 2022 satellite images of the Engels Air Base revealed that only 10 Tu-160 series bombers are based on the Engels Air Base. Furthermore it is unclear if all of them are airworthy. Tu-160M is a modernized version. In 2014 overhaul and modernization of the Tu-160s commenced at the Tupolev plant. The first modernized Tu-160M bomber was rolled out in 2016. Upgraded and refurbished aircraft are fitted with new radars, avionics, electronics and navigation equipment. 
around 80% of systems were updated. Production of the NK32 engines stopped back in 1993. However in 2016 a production contract for four engines was signed in order to modernize a single 2160 bomber to an improved 2160M standard. Production of the engines was restarted during the same year in the form of improved NK32-02. By 2017 a sole bomber was upgraded to the 2160M standard. In 2018 a follow-on order for 22 engines was signed to re-engine a couple of more bombers. The 2160M with the NK32-02 engines made its first flight in 2020. There were plans to upgrade all 16 operational bombers to the 2160M standard. 2160M2 is a designation of a newly built T-160M bomber. In 2015 it was announced that Russian MOD will relaunch production of the 2160. It was planned that newly built bombers will be fitted with new NK32-02 engines, new radars, and new avionics. So despite similar appearance the 2160M2 will be essentially a new aircraft. In 2018 a contract was signed to produce a total of 10 2160M2 bombers for the Russian Air Force. The first newly built bomber made its first flight in 2022. Though this newly built bomber was referred by the media as the 2160M. So it is unclear if the M2 designation is still used. Russian sources refer both upgraded and 2160 and newly built aircraft as the 2160MS. The second newly built 2160M bomber was rolled out in 2023. The third bomber is being built. Delivery of all 10 newly built bombers is planned to be completed in 2027. A planned unit price of the 2160M2 was a whopping $1.5 billion. 2160SK was a proposes launcher for space vehicles. A US-based platforms international corporation has acquired three demilitarized ex-Ukrainian 2160s which had planned to convert as 2160SK launchers for space vehicles. However this was never done.